Okay, today I'm adding more piranha to my aquarium here. I have three piranha in there. I got three erratus and multiple tiger barbs. Um, I originally tried to get five piranha in here. Two of them uh, just would not eat, would not grow, and the tiger barbs end up doing them in. So um, my last piranha tiger barb aquarium uh, a couple of years ago had 13 piranha and tiger barbs in it. I'm not going to put that many in this time. Uh, what I did was I went down to the pet store and normally they sell really little piranha like the size of your pinky nail and I just wasn't going to do that again with this aquarium. It would just take too long to raise the piranha up but I went out there today on a whim and I found that they had piranha for the same price and they're about the size of the ones I have in there. So I totally lucked out today. That never happens at that fish store. So uh, I, I got good luck today. So the only way I'm gonna get them in here is I'm going to clean out the aquarium, mix things up a little bit and feed them and then add these guys right here in my hand. I'm gonna add those after these guys are feeding so that they concentrate on something else rather than check out and pick on the new guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the aquarium now. Ouch. Some of these guys hurt. Why are you guys eating me? So you won't even let me do my job. Ouch. I'm gonna feed you, hold on a minute. Trying to siphon this thing out here, and of course they all want to take a poke of whatever's in there. And you, yeah, you stay away from me. <laughs> Ow! All right, 20 gallons have been removed. I got everything kind of mixed up a little bit in here, and I'm going to go ahead and start adding some water. And then we're going to feed them. Then we're going to release the new piranhas that are incubating back there. Right. Okay, as the water fills up, these guys are going to start checking out their new homes. I built a few more places down here for the catfish. Got a little tunnel down here. Um, that way nobody really gets picked on. The erratus like little places like that and like this. So. I think they're all anxiously waiting to see who's coming in the aquarium and I think they know it's time for feeding. So we're almost filled up here and then we'll do a large feeding, which I'll probably end up using ham and flake food. And I want to fill them up as much as possible so that these guys up here will have a great chance of survival in this aquarium. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this water off here as soon as it gets to the top and we're gonna go ahead and release them. Okay, while they're all checking out their new homes, the water's in, the chlorinator's in. These guys have been in here for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and let the prawn out first, and then I'm gonna do a mass feeding, which I have brine shrimp, ham, and I'm gonna put some flakes in there too, and then I'm gonna give them a worm to distract them a lot while the other guys, the new guys, uh, establish their territory. So let's let the new guys out <clears throat> and see just exactly how everybody does. Okay, there we go. Everybody's out. There's the new guys down there. Doesn't look like anybody's picking on them. So let's go ahead and go on over here and do brine shrimp. Actually, we'll do the ham first. Here comes the ham. And of course, they're all over there looking at the new guys. Over here, guys. There they go. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Tell you, when they find it, they love it. We're going to let the piranhas get in there. We want the piranhas to be full. We don't want nobody picking on these new guys, which I see a couple of the new guys right here. They are destroying that ham, destroying it. 
Piranhas are in there, that's it. Get them all fed. We don't want nobody getting picked on. And that was a small piece of ham. I don't want to feed them too much because I got other things I want to feed them. We'll let them tear that thing up first, get a little bit of aggression out. If they want to beat up something, they could beat up that ham for a little bit. All right, let's see who we got. He's not a new one. I'm trying to find the new ones here. There's a new one right there. There's a couple of new ones with there and there. And there's another one down there. So far, so good. Everybody's attention is on that ham. Playing tag. I think they like this little area here I built for them. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and toss in some brine shrimp. This way, a lot of it that'll dissolve will hit the bottom for the catfish that are down there. They're too busy with that ham, they can't even see this. Kind of break it up a little bit. They're so busy playing chase down there. That's all right. Let this brine shrimp disintegrate so all these new little guys looks like they're all eating so that's good it's a good sign i see three of the new guys up there on top it's a very very good sign okay last thing some flake food, and I'm gonna put this thing down for a minute. Okay. And it's a lot more than I normally feed, but there's nothing in the gravel right now for the catfish. I don't want them to go hungry. This will all disintegrate. And while these guys are sitting with full bellies, the piranha can get their new homes adjusted. That's actually way more than I wanted to feed them, but like I said, I'd rather make them all full now than finding someone to pick on. Okay, everything kind of died down a little bit. Um, I was going to strain some of those flake foods out. I didn't realize I put that much in, but before I could, I had my three catfish right after I stopped the video come up and they ate every last piece of flake food. So I didn't even have time to strain anything out. They all got fed, I'm happy about it. Uh, they can go in their little tunnels and relax. Uh, these guys are pretty well, uh, they're happy. Um, I noticed a few of them find a couple of the uh, piranhas and nipped at them. So what I'm gonna do for the final thing, uh, they, they all had a lot to eat, but I'm gonna give them this night crawler and I'm not gonna videotape them eating the whole thing, but I'm gonna give them this night crawler. It's just something that they can pick on instead of concentrating on the new guys so we just need a little more time it'll take them a while to knock that night crawler down but uh anyways that's it everybody's established i'll do some updated uh videos on the new terror tank uh comment below make sure you subscribe uh let me know what you think thanks for watching